Well, it comes down to the type of certification that Tim Morin was trying to get, a GED. Now, his mother says that because of his autism, day-to-day -day school was a challenge. So a couple of years ago, he decided to work toward a GED. Tim was still receiving help from the high school, but not in the traditional way. Instead, he was essentially getting prepped for the test. Now, through it all, the family was under the impression that Tim would be able to graduate with his class. His classmates were, were two, and this week they made a social media push and circulated a petition in support of him. But the assistant superintendent says that graduation wasn't on the horizon because he wasn't earning credits and he didn't meet the standards. But today, the two sides have come to a compromise. If Tim commits to an instructional plan set up by the district and works toward a diploma after graduation, he can walk on Saturday. I don't think it's overwhelming. I think the way they put it to him, I think it's definitely something he can do. It's worth it in the long run? I think so. I think so. I really think it is. Now, this is not a done deal quite yet. Tim has to make the decision by tomorrow morning. Reporting live in the newsroom, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.